going to share the best way of using the super trend indicator to generate consistent profits. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. With that being said, let's get into today's video. So first, let us understand what is the super trend indicator. As the name suggests, super trend is a trend following indicator just like moving average. Super trend is plotted on the price chart and it helps in identifying the trend. When the price is above the super trend, it will be green in color. This indicates the asset is in an uptrend. On the other hand, when the price is below the super trend, it will be red in color. And hence, we can say that the asset is in a downtrend. The super trend is based on the ATR indicator. Hence, there are basically two parameters that affect the super trend. The first is ATR period, and the second is ATR multiplier. By default the ATR period is set to 10 and the ATR multiplier is set to 3. In my opinion, these settings are good enough for trading, but you can play around with different settings to suit your style. Now let us look at how does the super trend work. Here we see that the price is in an uptrend. Now this green line is the super trend line. This means that as long as the price stays above the green line, the uptrend will be intact. When the price breaks this green line, we see a change in the super trend. We see that a red line starts to form above the price. This is an indication of a trend change. Hence, this indicates that a downtrend has begun. In theory, when the super trend becomes green, we want to buy. And when it turns red, we want to sell. The problem here is that this strategy means that we stay in the market all the time. We are either in an uptrend or a downtrend. The super trend gives us buying and selling signals even in a sideways market. And such signals can lead us to big losses. In fact, it is said that the market stays in a sideways range for 70% of the time. Hence, if we use a trend indicator like the super trend in a sideways market, it will become very difficult to stay profitable. So how do we filter the signals that are generated by the super trend indicator? This is where our strategy comes into the picture. In this strategy we will use two super trends instead of one. When we are trading a trending market, we often use two or more moving averages to identify different trends. Similarly, we will use two super trends to identify different trends. Our goal is to identify the long-term and short-term trend of the market. And we will only trade when both the trends are in confluence. Here's what I mean. We will use the super trend indicator on two different settings. The first one will be the default super trend with a 10 period ATR and a 3x ATR multiplier. This will show us the short term trend of the market. The second super trend will be a 20 period ATR and a 5x ATR multiplier. Therefore, it will indicate the long term trend of the market. To make things simple, we will change the color of this super trend. Instead of a green line, we will use a blue line in an uptrend. And instead of a red line, we will use a pink line in a downtrend. Using different colors for different super trends is very important. Now let us understand what are the rules of the strategy. According to our strategy, we will use the long-term super trend to identify the trend. And we will use the short-term super trend for our entries. Look at this chart. Here, the long-term super trend is blue and hence, it says that the price is in an uptrend. So we will only look at buying signals on the short-term super trend. Therefore, we did not take this sell signal, and we saved ourselves from a loss. Soon the price reversed and gave a buy signal. We take this trade and we made good profits. Here on this chart we see that the long-term super trend is pink and hence, we are in a downtrend. 
So we will look at selling opportunities. So we ignore this buying setup that could have easily resulted in a loss. But we take this sell signal and the price makes a sharp down move. Let us look at an example to better understand this strategy. Look at this point. Here the short-term super trend has given us a buying signal. So, should we buy? The answer is no, we cannot buy here, because the long-term super trend is bearish. Hence we will only take sell trades. But soon we see that the long-term super trend turns blue. This indicates that both the super trends are now bullish. So, do we buy here? The answer is no, because we only use the short-term super trend for our entries. We only trade when there is a change in the short-term super trend while the long-term super trend stays constant. Here is our buying setup. Here we see that the short-term super trend gives us a buying signal, while the long-term super trend has constantly stayed blue. So we enter here, and we can keep our stop loss below this green line. We can keep our targets at 1.5 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. As you can see, the price gave a good up move after our entry. Here is a sell setup. Here we see that the long term super trend has been bearish. So we will only look at selling opportunity. After a short period of bullish pressure, the short term super trend finally signals a selling trade. At this point we see that the long-term super trend has already been bearish, so we enter the trade here. We can keep our stop loss above this red line. And, we can keep our targets at 1.5 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. As you can see, the price achieved our target with ease. This brings us to the end of this video. If you like the video, then be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our new content. See you soon.